Hey guys, what's up? My name is Mr. Cottonman, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get the Black Spindle Exotic Sniper in Destiny and what requirements you actually need to actually work towards it. Before we get started, there is sort of a disclaimer. In order to actually get the Black Spindle, you need to make sure that the Daily Heroic Story Mission is lost to light. By having the mission be daily, it activates an alternate path that you need to go down in order to start the Gauntlet event, which at the end you will reward the Black Spindle. So when you go into this mission, just do it like you normally did, go throughout the entire part, and the part where you actually need to pay attention to is where you start to put the tomb husks in the doors to unlock them. And it's the third door, after you clear the second one, that's where the alternate path will be. Now there's a lot of things behind this mission where you can't die, you have to do it within a certain time period. I have had no problems with this mission as I've done it both slow and fast and I've killed every guy and I haven't killed every guy. It doesn't matter. The only thing that actually matters is you getting to that point and prepping yourself for the gauntlet that's about to happen. Now I've tried this solo and personally for me, I didn't kill the boss in time and there are people out there who actually did this solo, but if you want a nice guaranteed chance at getting this, go in there with the fire team of at least three people. So this is after the second door where you need tomb, tomb husk and it's along this path where I'm marking it right here where you actually go to that path and this leads to the original Tankist strike where you would go and kill him there. It's through that same process that you would go to actually get to the gauntlet and if you beat the boss at the end you can get the black spindle. A strategy that me and my friends had when we went into this is that we wanted to kill the blights first because they act like respawn nodes, if you will. So if you kill all the mobs in the room, they can still respawn. But if you kill the blights and then you kill the adds, no adds will respawn. Do remember that once you first enter the door to this room we're showing right now, you have 10 minutes to clear out every single ad in every single room and kill the boss. With that being said, if there's any way to get any possible clear speed advantage, use it. So for me, I was using the Bad Juju, I was using the Stormcaller subclass as a Warlock, and any sort of AoE is super, super helpful, like Rockets, for example. Now, as you progress through the rooms and you get to the final room, which is shown here, you want to use the same tactics like I mentioned before. Make sure all the Blights are killed, and then work on the adds, and then you can focus the boss. If you want to have someone that's dedicated to at least hit the boss and make sure that damage is being output on him at all times, go for it. For us, it was kind of trading in and out. We'd clear some ads, get rid of some blights, focus the boss a little bit, go back to the ads, and it was this constant cycle of going back and forth, back and forth. Now this process got a little bit harder as the fight went on because as you start to dwindle his health bar down, more adds and varieties start to spawn within the blight. So you obviously have your scions and they spawn in mass and they constantly multiply. Then you have more centurions coming out, you have more knights coming out in the fire that they spread. You have the centurions little bolt missile thing that also comes out as well. So you always have to make sure that you have adds clear to a decent state before you hit the boss because what does it all matter if you die in the end anyways because there was just no ad control. After you kill the boss and the remaining ads, bam, you got your black spindle. And if you're super lucky, you probably got a Venice Singer and that's a epic ship that I believe only spawns from this specific mission. Now since you got the black spindle, let's talk about the applications of when you should use it. So you could go out in the world and snipe whatever NPC that you come by, getting one, two, three headshots with it so that you can have the rounds automatically reload into your weapon. But probably the best situation for you to actually use this gun is in the raids currently in the game, such as King's Fall. In King's Fall, there's a couple of fights, in fact, pretty much every fight, where the Black Spindle is so incredibly handy because of its unique perk of where when you get precision hits rapidly, the actual magazine will reload itself so you don't have to go through an animation. Now this is so handy because it allows you to 
put so much DPS output within a short period of time. For Golgoroth, when you get into the puddles and actually start hitting his chest, that is probably the most effective point of where your black spindle will become the most useful in any situation because you're putting so much damage with each shot that you don't have to reload once you get the precision hits. Just like how I mentioned with the sisters and it's very helpful, it's also really helpful on the war priest encounter because you pretty much only go through two phases where you're just constantly putting so much DPS onto the guy with your black spindle that you don't need the extra two phases to kill the boss. For an exotic value of what it brings to certain encounters for PvE, I don't know exactly if it's good in PvP, there's a lot more other situations where you probably want a shotgun or a fusion rifle to some degree. The black spindle will most likely be used in every raid encounter where there's a long enough period of time where you can shoot the boss and get a large chunk of his health down before you have to repeat the steps in order to hit him again. With all this being said, if you have the opportunity and you haven't gotten it yet, you should go out there and get the black spindle. It's one of those things that you should just have for whatever might come down in the future. If there's anything I can do to improve on future videos, let me know. If I did good in this video, let me know as well in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.